Ha! Ah, new mugs available for the Etsy store. Sorry, I've got a drinking problem. Hi everyone, as here from Heel vs. Babyface. Uh, yeah, I think I've pretty much resorted to waterboarding myself for the sake of entertainment. And to sell a couple of mugs. Go me. Uh, anywho, that's not why we're here. You see, I am a big fan of Thundercats. Uh, I've got my lino sword right here. By the power of Greyskull and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but seriously, I, I did watch Thundercats when I was a kid. Quite enjoyed it, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's going back uh, several decades, mind. <laughs> and I've always thought of it fondly. There was this great era of, of cartoons. You know, whether or not they were just trying to sell us toys, irrelevant. We were kids, then, you know, we, we didn't understand things like marketing or stuff like that. Uh, we were just sucked in. Uh, by it all. So, you know, you had He-Man, Transformers, Ulysses 31, Battle of the Planets, Thundercats. Uh, you know, you could go on and on and on. There were there were plenty, absolutely plenty to choose from. And then, uh, as an adult, uh, going into, um, I don't know, senior citizenship soon. <laughs> as an adult... A couple of years ago, about a year and a half or so, nearly, pretty much two years ago now, there was an announcement that they were going to make a new Thundercats cartoon. Okay, could be cool from a nostalgia point of view. Oh, until you saw it. And it was pretty special, I have to say. So let's just jump to this article, which came out five days ago. Thundercats Ho, more like Thundercats No. This is the announcement trailer, all right? And let's just look at the ratio. Holy shit. <laughs> that is insane. I mean, literally insane on, on a ratio for a, a franchise. But one of the reasons why this is so negative isn't because of toxic white males, or anything like that, it's because the person who is redoing it, which we'll see very shortly indeed, uh, seems to have complete and utter contempt for the product. And that has rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way. So not only the fact that they massively changed up the anime style, Uh, not only that it looks like a Tumblr's bad dream or anything like that, or the fact that it's now going to be comedy. The world of, of Thundercats really lends itself to comedy. He even says it in this interview here. Listen to this. I think that the world that they built lends itself really well to comedy. The world that they built really lends itself to comedy. This is the world, of course, of Thundara, was it? That exploded. And they're the last surviving members of their kind. Hilarious. I know for a fact that when Krypton blew up and Superman was hurtling as a babby towards Earth, uncertain of his future, his direction or anything like that, he was pissing his pants laughing. Well, I mean, he was a baby. He's probably just pissing his pants naturally. He was like, oh my God, we're going to have so many jokes after all this mass extinction. Really, really lends itself to comedy. You know, just because you've got creatures like cats and frogs and, I don't know, zombie uh, <laughs> zombie mummies, uh, doesn't necessarily mean it lends itself particularly to comedy. In actual fact, when Thundercats did return in 2011, they actually brought this incredibly cool anime style to it. Not only that, in wicked it was really good it's such a shame that it only went for one season i think they did 24 episodes or so but the animation the style everything about it was really really cool indeed so if you did like uh your, your uh, anime your manga stuff like that then this was something which which was going to resonate with you and it, it had obviously 
comedic moments from time to time. Snarf is the comic relief. And it had some very serious matters. And it's very difficult to take anything like this remotely seriously because it's just a complete joke. But, look, I am not trying to be cruel. I am just saying things the way they are. Look at, look at this fucking thing. Look at it. This is a 36-year-old man who's got... <laughs> He's having his hair held up by a rubber band. Because he's so crazy. But no. This is their advert. And the question you have to ask was. Who was this ever for? Because currently it's clocking in at a 1.6 on IMDb. And this is after it never showed its face in 2019. When it was meant to be released. In actual fact, things went so quiet on the project, if you wanted to ask Victor, hey Victor, what's going on? Unfortunately, he can't respond to you because I've got protected twit twats. Urgh, nobody talk to me, please. Nobody ask me about it. Nobody discuss any of the points whatsoever. Just all shut up. Great stuff. 1.6 currently. It just quietly found its way onto the Cartoon Network app approximately a week or so ago. Parts 1 and 2. And that's it. No word on whether or not they're going to put any more up. No word on whether or not that's it. Just slipped on a couple of episodes. None have been added since. No word at all. So again, I asked the question, who is this for? Because the obvious answer would be, well, it's just for kids. Come on, as leave it alone. It's just for kids. It's meant for kids. Kids might find this cutesy ho, 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 ho. Oh, pun intended. N now. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Now, I would actually agree with you normally. But this promotion... Of the, of the upcoming cartoon doesn't lend itself to that at all. In fact, it kind of talks to the adults that have experienced Thundercats before. You have, at the start, a animation clip with lion saying, Oh my god, this is my slicey stick. Because, oh my god, he's so funsies! It's not a sword, it's a slicey stick. He's, he's got stupid names, he's wheezies, forzies. Uh, and he says, what do you mean you don't know what a Thundercat is? Okay, so it's talking to kids. Then it goes to the Warner Brothers animation. And then we have <laughs> Victor Courtright, who just apparently appears to be a narcissist. <laughs> this is going to be about me, and I'm so Funny! I'm so amazeballs! Everything I do is fun, 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 fun! And it's just a big... Oh, I'm so great. Look at look at everyone laughing at me. Look at look at my stuff. Everyone's loving it. All my animation style, people loving it. Oh, look, I'm laughing. Everyone's laughing. Laughing at everything I do. Oh, my God, that's so quirky! Laugh, laugh, laugh. Everybody's laugh. Oh, my God! I've had to blot out his thingsies. Let's go into a meeting, folks. Oh, look at it. Look at it. They're all doing stupid stupids. Oh, look, he's like eating his leg and he's saying, oh, my God, didn't your planet just blow up and everyone was killed? Apart from just the few of you, Wily Kit, Wily Cat, Snarf, Panthro, Tigra, Chitara, obviously looks like a boy because women don't look like... Remember how sexy Chitara was in? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, lion -O. Have I forgotten anybody? Don't think so. Um, and then it's just, just, uh, I do this. I thought it'd be great for this. This would be great. Let's go to shots of me just talking about how great I am, how great everything I do is. Look, we're in a meeting. Everybody's laughsies. Laughsies at everything I do. Zies. Look, I'm doing a storesy board. Everybody laughsies. Laughsies, laughsies. Oh my God, Zies, it's so fun, Zies! Who the fuck is this for? 
This is for you. This is for you. This is to stroke your own ego. That's all it is. Nothing more. Kids aren't interested in this. Kids don't give a flying toss who's behind the storyboard or anything like that. They're just like, give me the action. Kids just want to watch the bloody cartoon. And then he did a really funny... Look, oh, I'm watching my stuff. My stuff's so funny. Narcissist. And then it ends with Lino just saying, Oh, I wonder if I turn on this device by slashing it with my slushy spiky stick. Oh my god, it worked. Oh, that's how you turn on TVs. I'm so funny. It's so funny because he doesn't know it's a TV and he cuts it in half, but it still works. He's so funny. It's for kids. It's for kids. So, uh, what a shocker. What an absolute shocker. Somebody that seems to have complete contempt for the source material, who is about as funny as a poke in the eye, who created an advert for himself <laughs> about how great he is, uh, that wasn't directed at kids at all, um, gets absolutely hammered into the ground. Who... Would have thunk it. Who would have thunk it? Uh, so yes, that's what you get. Well done. Can we have more of this? This will be... I want this back. Because this was damn good, people. It really was. Let's get it, Let's get this sort of thing back, you know? Where males look like males and females look like ma uh, females and kids look like kids. Not everybody just looks the same. Is it a man... Is it a female? Is it an adult? Is it a... Is, who knows? Who knows in the uh, Tumblr cats? Oh! Uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Look, cut me a slack here, right? Batwoman's back tonight. Doctor Who's on tonight. I wanted to do a story that I thought was funsies. You know? You know how hard it is to review these programs? Oh, well, but we like, we like it when you suffer. We love it when you suffer. Oh, you... <laughs> and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. Take care. Bye for now.